Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about pairing the Keystone 3 hardware wallet with your Helium Black wallet app. I've been involved with Helium for about four years and I've been involved with Keystone for about two. I've had many other hardware wallets. I've reviewed other hardware wallets, but the one that I use consistently and on a daily basis is the Keystone 3. A few different reasons for that that I'll share with you in this video, but for now I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about security. With everything that's been happening lately with elections and the global climate, crypto is here and uh, it's making a big mark. Paired with everything that's building within the Web3 community, logging in with your wallet is becoming more and more common each day. And now what does that mean? Well, the more people that are going to be logging on with hardware wallets, those hackers are gonna be out there and trying to find a way to access and drain those wallets. It's just unfortunately part of the game. Now what worked in the past for you with software wallets might not be as secure currently as well as in the immediate future. So when I saw the announcement this week of Helium and Keystone teaming up in order to be able to utilize the Keystone 3 wallet with the Helium app, I was definitely psyched to hear that information. Now for today's video, I'm not gonna get into too much detail on the Keystone wallet. And the reason for that is I have a detailed review that I would like for you to check out to get much more familiar with hardware wallets and the Keystone 3 itself. And I go through how to set it up and everything is relatively simple. So what I will do is put a link in the description to that review and I also reviewed the firmware for BTC only that is also available on the Keystone 3. So if you do wanna also check that out, I'll link both of those videos in the description for you. So let's get right into it, set up our wallet, perform a couple transactions and show you how simple this really is. Okay, so I'm here in my Helium Black wallet. Up on top here, I would click on that. It would show me a list of the wallets that I have here and on the bottom you will see import or create wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. As you can tell, the choices open up here on top from new to import ledger and keystone, which is what we are looking for. So I'll go ahead. Next here would be to scan the QR code. But before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my fingerprint. And I am here. Now you'll see those three little dots. We're gonna to wanna to click on that. And you can see that connect software wallet comes up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Go through the options and you could tell the helium wallet is here i'm going to go ahead and click on that it's going to give me that scan code or qr code that the helium wallet is looking for i'm going to go ahead there and click on that it's looking to scan i'm going to go ahead and put my keystone wallet it is now scanned found these different accounts now it gave me a list of the wallets that are in my keystone wallet as far as Solana wallets for Helium. And I can go ahead and import now these specific wallets. I do see the check marks here, but when I do click on them, it does not uncheck. So I don't know if that is a bug or if that will be fixed in the future, but uh, either way, it doesn't really matter. It's just importing more accounts. I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. I wanna give this wallet a name. So let's call it KS3 Helium. And we gave it the name. I'm gonna go next. And we are good to go. So we are here in the Helium app and it's listing all of the different wallets that I have in the Helium app. So as you can tell here, you'll see seed phrase one, seed phrase two. So those were all wallets that were imported with a seed phrase. But now that we have the option of adding the Keystone wallet, you can see that that is under private keys. So for the purpose of this demonstration, even though it uh, imported six different wallets, we're only going to be using, let's say, uh, Helium number one. And what we need to do to perform any transactions is, of course, get some assets, some funds in there. And for the purpose of this one, I'm in the Keystone. I have zero assets in there, so I'm going to want to add some. And what I'm going to do is take some soul from one of my other Helium wallets and bring it over to this Keystone Helium wallet in the Helium app. Now, the first thing I need to do is get the receive address, which is right here on top. I'm gonna to go ahead and click on it and you can tell that it is copied to my clipboard. Now, from here, I need to go into one of my other Helium wallets that actually have some assets like this one. I wanna go ahead and send some soul to the Keystone wallet. So as you remember, I still have a copy to my clipboard. So I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and send some of this. So I could do a transaction. 
So we have the enter address. I'm going to click on that and paste the address for my keystone into there. Okay, now from there, we want to enter the sole amount. I'm going to go with 0 0.03. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And I'm going to go ahead and pay. Swipe in order to send the funds. Network fee associated with it. And I am approving. And there goes my helium. Okay, back to wallets from here. We want to check out our wallet. We want to get to the Keystone wallet, Helium 1, which is right here. And now we should have a few funds. And there we go. $5.83. Okay, so now with the funds in my Keystone wallet, I want to send it back to the NJ wallet where it came from. So I'm going to go ahead and select the NJ. I'm going to copy the address, the receiving address for NJ. And now from here, I'm going to go back to my Keystone where I want to send from. And from here, I want to go ahead and send. I want to send soul. The address is on my uh, clipboard, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And now it's going to ask me the total soul amount. I'm going to go with max. I'm going to confirm that. I'm going to hit pay. Swipe. Approve. And guess what? Now, instead of it just sending, it's asking me to go ahead and scan the QR code with my Keystone wallet in order to confirm the transaction. And that is where all this extra protection comes in. So from here, I'm actually logging into my Keystone wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and scan that QR code. It is now scanned from the Keystone wallet. And I can now go back to wallets from here in my Keystone. So now from here, I can go back to the NJ wallet. Fund is there. And there is the total that I had before, the $21.86 that is now transferred back from my Keystone wallet. Now, if I were to go back to the Keystone wallet and check that out, my funds say 583, but as I refresh it, it is zero. And that is how you perform a transaction. One thing that I do want to say about the Keystone 3 is that you are able to have three different accounts. So it would be like having three different hardware wallets with three completely different seed phrases for each one of these Keystone 3 devices that you own. So what does that mean to you? Well, instead of going out there and purchasing three different wallets, let's say you want to have your Ethereum wallet and that whole ecosystem, and you also want to have a BTC wallet, and then you want to have a Helium wallet or all-encompassing Solana blockchain wallet, you'll be able to have that just in this one Keystone 3 device. Once again, three completely different seed phrases, 24-word seed phrases. So if you are familiar with wallets and hardware wallets in general, you'll see that that's a pretty big deal, heck of a money saver, and also that much more simple to operate. You're utilizing one device. You're carrying around one device. And meanwhile, you have access to three completely separate independent wallets. The other thing that I want to leave you with that's super important and uh, can't be stressed enough is to make sure that you back up your seed phrase. When you set up your wallet, your Keystone wallet, just like any other wallet, just like your Helium wallet. Helium has a 12 word seed phrase that needs to be backed up or you will lose access to all of the assets in that wallet. And the Keystone has a 24 word seed that once again, if you lose that seed phrase, you will lose access to all of your assets. I don't say this to scare you, I say this to give you a reality check and to realize how important that information really is. So don't just back it up on paper, back it up on some kind of stainless steel device. I've also done a few reviews for those type of backups. I will link them in the description and I also go over it a bit in my initial Keystone wallet review. Another thing that I want you to keep in mind when it comes to choosing a hardware wallet, I have gone through nightmares. I have been rugged by hardware wallet providers. 
And the one thing that I could say about the Keystone team is that they are there, they are readily available, they answer and respond quickly. And if you do end up purchasing one, you will see that updates to the firmware are happening on a continual basis. It's not just once per quarter or a couple times per year. It's happening pretty, pretty often. Every time the community needs something, stresses something, Keystone has been there to provide that solution. So I can't say enough about the team currently excellent and let's just hope it stays that way and they maintain the structure that they're currently maintaining so bottom line if you are in the market for a hardware wallet both in available options their support team ease of use and top-notch security and now working seamlessly with the helium ecosystem definitely take a look at this keystone 3.